guess what time it is? Mama's story time. Yay! Hi, my darlings. How are you today on this beautiful Sunday? Did you go to church today? Mama and Papa went to church and Auntie Lily and Auntie Maddie. We had a lovely time. We saw Uncle Brett and Auntie Tracy too. So because it's Sunday, I'm going to read another story from our Book of Mormon Stories. Would you like that? Okay. Which one are we reading today? We are reading... Lehi warns the people. Most of the people living in Jerusalem 600 years before the birth of Christ, so before Jesus Christ was born, most of the people then were wicked. God sent prophets to tell them to repent, but they wouldn't listen. Are they listening? No. Lehi was a prophet. He prayed that the people would repent. He's praying for his people. While he was praying, a pillar of fire appeared. God told and showed Lehi many things. Lehi returned home and had a vision. He saw God surrounded by many angels. The angels were singing and praising God. In his vision, Lehi was given a book that told what would happen in the future. He read that Jerusalem would be destroyed because the people were so wicked. So where he lives in Jerusalem, it's going to be destroyed. <gasps> Lehi told the people that Jerusalem would be destroyed. He also told them of the coming of Jesus Christ. The people were angry and tried to kill Lehi, but the Lord protected him. The Lord was pleased with Lehi and one night spoke to him in a dream. Do you have dreams when you're sleeping? So the Lord speaks to Lehi in a dream. He told Lehi to take his family and leave Jerusalem. Just grab your stuff and go. Lehi obeyed the Lord. Lehi's family packed food and tents. They left their house and their gold and their silver and they traveled into the wilderness. Wow, they're gonna go live in tents. Would you like to live in a tent? Maybe you can stay in a tent when you come to Mama and Papa's house. Yep. Lehi, Lehi and his wife Sariah had four sons. Their names were Laman, Lemuel, Sam and Nephi. After travelling for three days, Lehi's family camped in a valley near a river. See the water there, camping near the river? Lehi built an altar from stones and made an offering to God. He thanked God for saving his family from being destroyed. Lehi named the river Laman and the valley Lemuel. Lehi wanted his sons to be like the river and the valley, continually flowing to God and steadfastly keeping the commandments. Laman and Lemuel thought their father was foolish for leaving Jerusalem and all their riches. They did not believe that Jerusalem would be destroyed. Nephi wanted to understand the things that Lehi had seen. He prayed to know if his father had done the right thing by leaving Jerusalem. Jesus Christ visited Nephi and told him that Lehi's words were true. Nephi believed and did not rebel as Laman and Lemuel did. So he was a good boy. Nephi was a good boy. 
real good boy, aren't you, David? And you, Corby? Yeah, good boy. Sarah's a good girl. Nephi told his brothers what Jesus had told him. Sam believed Nephi, but Laman and Lemuel would not believe. That Laman and Lemuel, man, they're a little bit naughty. The Lord promised Nephi that he would be blessed because of his faith. He would become a leader over his brothers. Ooh, so that was our Book of Mormon story for today. Lehi's a prophet and Jesus, the Lord tells Lehi to take his family and go out into the wilderness because where they live is going to be destroyed. So Lehi, because he's obedient, he takes his wife, Sariah, and his four sons, and they pack up their tents and they go. They go out to the wilderness because Heavenly Father told them to, and they're being obedient. And we'll find out what happens to them next time. Yeah? Cool. All right, my darlings. Well, I've got some neat little videos for you today. I'm going to put them on. Uh, Papa got his digger, as you know, and he's been up the back and he's been busy digging out banks and digging out the lake. And the boys have been having some fun up there too. So I'll put some little, little videos on for you now. Okay, my darlings? <laughs>
some fun things going on and so when you come to visit Mama and Papa, you're going to have so much fun. We're going to have so much fun together. Yeah, you'll be able to go on the digger and on the tractor and on the mower and mow the grass and play with the dogs and all the other kids. We're going to have so much fun, my darlings. Well, you have a great day for the rest of it. Mama's going to have a lovely day because Papa's still here. He goes back to work on Tuesday. So you, yeah, enjoy your day. Have fun playing with each other. Be good for mum and dad and kind to each other. I love you, my babies. Bye-bye.